Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to find the equation of a chord when the midpoint's coordinates have been provided. That means the coordinates of the midpoint of the chord have been provided. And of course the equation of the circle has also been provided. Let's suppose you have a circle like this whose equation is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. That's the general form of the equation of a circle. And in that case, what would be the coordinates of the center of this circle? Well, that would be negative g comma negative f. And let's suppose we have a chord AB whose midpoint is P and its coordinates have been provided as x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So let's assume that x sub 1 and y sub 1 they are known quantities meaning they have been provided in the question and let's also assume that the equation of the circle has been provided. For the derivation I have to do a little bit of construction here. All I am going to do is I am going to join the point C with point P. Since P is the midpoint of the chord and CP is the line drawn from the center of the circle onto the chord and this line is actually bisecting the chord that means this line will be perpendicular to the chord. We have already seen that in a previous theorem. So that means CP will be perpendicular to AB and our ultimate goal is to somehow find the equation of the chord AB. Now because we have a perpendicular line here CP and we know the coordinates of C and coordinates of P then we can easily find the slope of CP and slope of CP will be like this. It will be y sub 1 minus negative f over x sub 1 minus negative g and if we simplify this a little bit we can write it as y sub 1 plus f over x sub 1 plus g. Now let's think about the slope of the line CP and the slope of the line AB I mean the chord AB. What would be the product of their slopes? Well because they are perpendicular to each other the product of their slopes would be equal to negative 1. I have already created a separate video on this. I have shared the link in the description. Feel free to watch that video. The product of the slopes of two perpendicular lines would be equal to negative 1. So then can we say that slope of AB will be equal to negative 1 over the slope of CP and next I am going to plug in the value of the slope of CP. So it is going to look like this negative 1 over y sub 1 plus f over x sub 1 plus g and if we simplify this it is going to look like this negative x sub 1 plus g over y sub 1 plus f. Now we know the slope of the chord AB and also we know a point on the chord AB and that point is essentially the point P whose coordinates are known x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So we have a line here which is AB and we know the slope of that line and also we know a point on that line. So using the point slope form of the equation of a straight line we can easily write down the equation of this chord AB and how is that going to look like? Well that will look like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to the slope times x minus x sub 1 and in this case the slope of AB is actually that quantity negative x sub 1 plus g over y sub 1 plus f. So that is the equation of the chord AB based on the equation of the circle and the coordinates of the midpoint of the chord. Also it can be written like this x minus x sub 1 times g plus x sub 1 plus y minus y sub 1 times f plus y sub 1 is equal to 0. That is also another form of the equation of the chord AB. Both of them are actually the same equation. I have just changed the form little bit. So they just look slightly different but they are exactly same equation. So our derivation is complete. Next we are going to take an example. Let's suppose we have an example like this where the equation of the circle has been provided as x squared plus y squared minus 13x minus 5y plus 16 equals 0 and the coordinates of the midpoint of a chord have been provided as 2 comma negative 1 half. We have to find the equation of the chord. So let's get started with the solution. The equation of the circle has been provided as x squared plus y squared minus 13x minus 5y plus 16 equals 0 and if we compare this with the general form of the equation of a circle then comparing these two equations we can say that 2gx is equal to negative 13x and from here we can then say that g will be equal to negative 13 over 2. And similarly we can say that 2fy is equal to negative 5y. So from here we can say that f will be equal to negative 5 over 2. 
and what is the value of x sub 1 and y sub 1? Well, those are the coordinates of the midpoint of the chord and that have been provided as 2 comma negative 1 half. So let me make a quick note here that this 2 actually indicates x sub 1 and the negative 1 half indicates y sub 1. So now let's try to find out the equation of this chord. I'm going to use the first form of the equation here. So we can say the equation will be like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to negative x sub 1 plus g over y sub 1 plus f times x minus x sub 1. And now let's plug in the values of x sub 1, y sub 1, g and f. Then our equation is going to look like this y minus negative 1 half is equal to negative 2 plus negative 13 over 2 over negative 1 half plus negative 5 over 2 times x minus 2 because y sub 1 is actually equal to negative 1 half and then x sub 1 is equal to 2, g is equal to negative 13 over 2, y sub 1 is equal to negative 1 half, f is equal to negative 5 over 2 and also x sub 1 is equal to 2. And if we simplify this a little bit, the equation is going to look like this. It will be y plus 1 half is equal to negative 3 over 2 times x minus 2. And then if we multiply both sides by a 2, then our equation is going to look like this. And then if we simplify a little more, our equation is going Going to finally look like this 3x plus 2y is equal to 5. Also you can write it in this form 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals 0. So you can write the answer in any of the forms. They both are the same thing. They are the same equation. So this is the equation of the chord for the given circle. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.